the deal. Joining us tonight, Chris Thompson, Mark Bussey, and Lee Check said, you didn't have to drag those other two off the set, did you? That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, if they had a set of hockey gloves, they'd both be in the penalty box. Would they? Yeah, yeah no, they're so good. good. All right, let's talk Olympic snow. Harper, Obama, the leaders of France and Germany, not going to Sochi. Big deal? No deal? I think it's, in my mind, if I'm a world leader, uh, a few of the perks you get are, especially considering everyone critiques absolutely every little thing you do, you get to sit at the front seat at the Olympic hockey game and you get to take selfies with attractive world leaders. And if you're not going <laughs> to the hockey game, that's a snub. Yeah? That's I my mean, theory. They, they also have things to do. I think it's probably part of it, certainly. But, you know, the... the, 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 the the gay rights issues, that, that's only a small part of the story that is. really is being talked about. The human rights atro atro atrocities, say that twice, say that three times. I think you tried. I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, that, you know, it's, it's terrible. Like, yes. Russia, this is, this, this is such a strange PR exercise for Russia. Right. Well, these Plus, people haven't been in many years anyway. Um, this is the first time since 2000 that the U.S. hasn't sent someone. Yeah, this yeah. time they're not sending anyone. But Stephen Harper's only been to one, and that was, was Vancouver in yeah. 2010, in many, many years for a Canadian prime minister. So I think it might be a little bit of a snub, but it's sort of like soft. It's a soft pedal. Well, snub. I think it's the anti-gay uh, stance of Russia. I think it's uh, who wants to go and deal with Vladimir Putin? <laughs> he'll be he'll be bare back wrestling a <laughs> naked boar or something. Who wants to go to Sochi? Out. And, and uh, Snowden. I mean, yeah, I think yeah. for the U.S., Edward Snowden's yeah. holed up in Russia, so yeah. I don't think Obama wants yeah. to show up there and sort of, you know... Be sitting okay beside Snowden, I think that would be funny. <laughs> At the hockey game. Yeah. Alrighty, let's talk uh, holiday myths. Uh, we warned you about this, but we haven't actually given you the information, so we'll see if you know this. Myth, drinking alcohol keeps you warm, Mark Bussey. Yay or nay? Drinking alcohol keeps me warm. <laughs> uh, I drink... I, I don't, does it? I don't know. Does it? What I've heard of is that if you drink alcohol, it diverts blood from the core of your body to your extremities. So if you feel cold, drinking alcohol will divert the blood from where you actually need it to where you'll feel warm. So it's actually really dangerous, but yes, it does make well, you feel warm. Well, drinking alcohol thins your blood, right? That makes sense. Right. So, drinking alcohol that? diverts my attention to not caring whether I'm cold. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Drinking alcohol makes my appendages numb. Chris nailed it. Right. It temporarily makes you feel warmer. Yeah. Woo, woo, you real. did it. All right. Wow. Yep. Myth number two, suicide rates rise during the holiday season. Oh, that's true. I bet that that's true. Yeah, no, I think. apparently, really? mm -hmm, uh, suicide rates are actually lower at this time of year. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know. Studies suggest that... The holiday uh, can bring up difficult emotions for people, but it also creates warm family bonds and good feelings. And I'm so just thinking warm. about the time with my family, <laughs> I, how often I would like yeah, to commit suicide. Not suicide. You would say, kill them. Yeah, it's it's murder. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. And finally, poinsettias or poinsettias are poisonous to pets and young children. I think that's true. That's what I've heard. I think yeah. that's true. Only mildly toxic to dogs and young children. Mm. So snack away in your drunken stupor on the poinsettias. So don't eat dogs who have eaten poinsettias. <laughs> exactly. Right. Or small children. All right. Small children. Here's the. It's the right. sap it's in it. Blood. There you go. So there's more blood. There you are. For you there you are. Blood. I'm not sure I like how you're thinking. Um, don't you just love Rob Ford, the gift that keeps on giving? I have a confession. Yes. I genuinely tried to find a T-shirt that says "I love Rob Ford" to wear tonight. Couldn't find one. Nope. I wonder I'm if sure they, it's out there. Sold out. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Well, his latest awesome. um, Fox Pass, uh, as we like to say, mm. his faux pas was that um, when asked about what he was giving his wife for Christmas, he said, "A giant check." Just give women money. They like money. A couple of grand and they're happy. If they like you for your money, then I'm sure you'll <laughs> like it when they give you money. Yes. Excellent what else point. Does she like him for. He's I he's 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 can't he's say that on television. Home. There's, a, there's a great tweet out there that says, uh, if, if Rob Ford is my husband, I've got a lot more problems than what he's giving me for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and a little treat for you. All right, folks, wheel it down, bring in the stick. Mark Bussey, oh. you, you <laughs> there he is. brought us. I was awesome. lied to you. You brought us the pinata. The this Rob is what Ford I would like pinata. to get my wife for Christmas. So come on over. I'm oh, are we sure doing this? Get sure. Chris to do it. For your Michael stretch. I'm going to try and unclip it. Yeah, yeah maybe. It. All right.
You get to take the first swing. Watch out for Lee Check's dad, if you don't mind. You don't want anybody hurt oh, in this process. You, I really get This is the Rob Ford Pinata. Hard. Hard, hard, hard. Oh, God. Oh. This is going <laughs> to. This is. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you got to get out of the. Yeah, done. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> you decapitated him. All right. I beheaded Rob Ford. On yes, TV. nice. That's There's amazing. No candy. All right, your turn. Yes. The head filled. The head filled. The head with is filled with candy. I am oh, getting it. Is that a hat? It's really a Rob. We've got to break any time, really people. Candy comes out of that. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> oh, harder. Manny's got a hard head. Oh, it's coming. There's the candy. candy. Come on, you stupid man. Merry Christmas! The rangest thing I've ever done. Merry I wonder how much of Rob Ford's uh, uh, employees would want to do. Now he looks like wow. one of the guys from the Muppets in the balcony. <laughs> yeah, well. Stetler and Waldorf. Thank you. Thank you I'm impressed you know us. the name. Oh, Ford my Weston. pleasure. You brought that pinata to the party Ford's... we had last week. Can we okay, it? so Enbridge now. <laughs> <laughs> Pipeline. We're done. We're going to oh. break, people. A nurse was attacked at a psychiatric facility in BC. We're going to talk to the BCNU right after this.